What's up guys? I am currently in Phuket, Thailand and I have to say I really like Phuket. Uh, it's a high energy city with a lot to see and a lot to do. Recently I got some really great questions that I wanted to share with you guys. One question a person asked me is, am I happier now that I left the US and I'm living in Thailand? Right now I'm walking to Patong Beach. But I want to show you guys this area as I'm talking to you because this is a really great area. All right guys, as I mentioned, I am walking to the Patong Beach. I am currently in Phuket and this is a really great area. If you're looking for excitement, nightlife and beautiful woman, Patong Phuket is the place to be in Thailand. But anyways, as I mentioned, I recently got a question from one of my viewers who asked me, am I happier now after leaving the US and living in Thailand? And this simple question got me thinking about why I originally decided to quit my job and sell my house and everything else that I own to go to a country that I have never been to and know nothing about. After all, the reason why I took this huge gamble to leave the U.S. and travel was to pursue happiness that I just did not have in my life when living in the U.S. And it has always been my dream to travel and see the world and see different countries and different cultures. Hey guys, check out this tsunami warning sign. I don't know if you remember, but back in 2004, there was a 100-foot tsunami wave that hit this area and killed a bunch of people. So now they have these tsunami warning signs all over this coastal area. But the tsunamis are very rare, and, and every country has their own occasional disasters. Now, for those of you who are new and you don't already know my story, when I was in the U.S., I did have a good job and had a beautiful house and every material thing I ever wanted. And I had built a very comfortable and safe life for myself. But at the same time, I spent 75% of my waking hours working in a job that I did not like, and I felt like my life had become so routine that I was living like a robot. I felt numb and almost dead inside, like I was just going through the motions of a life that society tells you you are supposed to live until you're too old and tired to enjoy the rest of your life. I knew I was not happy with my life in the U.S., and I was not happy with seeing how the great USA was and is self-destructing into a place with so much conflict and so much loss of simple logic and morals. I feel like the great USA is going in a direction that I just do not want to follow. But at the same time, I did not know if selling everything and moving to another country would make me happy either. In the back of my mind, I was thinking this could be a huge mistake. I thought to myself, I could take a chance to find happiness outside of the US or I can continue to live this life that I hated until I was too old and too tired to chase my dream of living and traveling abroad. Finally, after a lot of thought, I decided I was going to live the next five years of my life like it is the last five years of my life. And at the end of that five years, if I decide that I'm still not happy and I'm still alive, I can always come back to the U.S. and start a new life. Now it has been six months since I have left the U.S. and moved to Thailand. And I feel like I now have experience enough to answer that simple question, am I happier now after leaving the U.S.? And the simple answer to that question is yes, I am a lot happier now since leaving the U.S. and moving to Thailand. My life has changed dramatically in almost every way. I can truly say I am enjoying the process of building my new life as I get to see and experience a different place and a different culture. I recently got another great question from another viewer who asked me, are you really living in Thailand or are you just surviving in Thailand? I responded back to this comment by saying, my new life in Thailand, I get to wake up every day and I eat breakfast looking at the ocean from my condo balcony. I also get a massage almost every day because it costs only $7 to get a massage in Thailand. I get to eat out at different restaurants and places twice a day for lunch and dinner because food is so cheap in Thailand. Housing, food, and almost everything else in Thailand is just a fraction of the cost of the prices that it is in the U.S. But the best part of my new life in Thailand is I can now spend my days doing what I want and when I want because I no longer have to spend 75% of my waking hours working in a job that I hate so that I can pay for an overpriced life in the U.S. I do believe I am living a better life and not just surviving in Thailand. Another question I recently got from a viewer asked me if I feel safe in Thailand. 
And to that question, I say I actually feel safer in Thailand than I did in the U.S. Most of the people I meet in Thailand and Asian people in general are nicer and more respectful than the average person in the U.S. I know some people will not like what I'm saying, but this is my opinion based on my experience. And the crime rate in Thailand is a lot lower than it is in the U.S. In fact, I have not seen or heard of any crimes in the last six months since I have been in Thailand. Another viewer asked me if there's anything in Thailand that I do not like. I would have to say I do not like the way many people in Thailand drive. I am not sure why there are so many bad drivers in Thailand. Now, as I was saying about bad drivers here in Thailand, I was recently at a stoplight in Phuket and I was waiting in a group of about 25 other motorbikes and several cars for the light to turn green. Finally, the light turned green and since I was at the back of this group of motorbikes, I had to wait for them to accelerate before I could start to accelerate. Well, apparently the lady in the car behind me got tired of waiting for me to accelerate so she decided to drive her car into my motorbike, knocking me and my motorbike over onto the road. As you can imagine, I was shocked and angry. So I got up and I looked into her window and I could see this lady just looking at me and she had a young child in the passenger seat. So I threw up my hands in the air and I yelled, what the hell are you doing? This lady then rolled down her window and she motioned for me to get out of her way. I could not believe what was happening. This crazy woman was acting like it was normal to run into someone with your car if you do not want to wait for them to get out of your way. So I finally motioned to her to follow me to the side of the road because we were blocking traffic and I wanted to get her information. So I picked up my motorbike off the road and I drove to the side of the road. Then this crazy woman then just drove off like nothing happened. I thought about chasing her but then I thought I better just cool off and be glad that I was not hurt. After all, I am in a foreign country and the rented motorbike I had was already beat up, so the scratches from the accident just blended in with the rest of the motorbike. But I have many stories of crazy drivers here in Thailand. Not that bad, that's probably the craziest story that I have, but there are a lot of bad drivers in Thailand. One other thing that has brought many challenges to my life in Thailand is the language barrier, as most people in Thailand do not speak English or they speak very little English. This language barrier has, at times, made simple everyday situations like ordering food or describing how I want my hair cut or trying to date a beautiful woman that I met. These can all be a challenge when you do not speak the native language. In fact, I recently made a video all about this subject. I will post this video at the end of this video if you have not seen it. I think the language barrier and the bad driving are the few things I do not like about living in Thailand. Finally, I would like to answer a question from another viewer who asked, is there anything you would have done differently or anything that you regret doing? And to that I say, I regret not figuring out a way to leave the US and travel abroad sooner than I did. I realize the life I live now is not for everyone. Everyone has a different life situation and different priorities and different goals and dreams. But not everyone will go to extremes to take the gamble to chase their dreams, especially if that dream is a completely different life in a different country. I feel blessed and thankful that I had the opportunity to chase my dream of travel and living abroad and making my dream a reality. And although the USA has its problems, and I am glad I was able to leave the U.S., I still believe the U.S. is a great country. I do realize I would not have this opportunity to live my new life abroad if it was not for the opportunities and freedoms the USA has given me. I would like to make one thing clear. Although I am a lot happier since leaving the U.S. and moving to Thailand, this does not mean my life is perfect. I don't think anyone has a perfect life. And my new life is always changing and growing as I continue to build my new life living abroad. 
and I continue to travel and explore this beautiful place called Thailand. I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you enjoyed my story, I want to ask you guys to please hit the like and subscribe button for this video. You might not know this, but hitting the like and subscribe button tells YouTube that you liked my video. So YouTube will then show my videos to other people, which will then help my small channel to keep growing in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.